In, uh, in, in some of the uh, articles uh, recently, as a result of the Paradise Papers, uh, there's uh, also a discussion of uh, the current Commerce Secretary, Wilbur Ross, and his involvement uh, in uh, offshore money. Could you talk about that as well? Sure. So, what the documents and some public filings that sort of we looked at in light of the documents show is that Wilbur Ross has a stake in the shipping company named Navigator. Navigator does tens of, uh, tens of millions of dollars a year business with a Russian gas company named Sibur, and one of the co-owners of that gas company is Putin's son-in-law, Kirill Shamalov. This hasn't been noticed before, this, this wasn't known before, that Wilbur Ross had actually retained this stake even after joining the Trump administration. He is continuing to be involved in this business venture, which sees his shipping company ship gas for Putin's son-in-law's Russian gas company from Russia into Europe. And it's, uh, you and know, he's still pretty, involved with us now. Still involved. He's retaining his interests as he's gone into well, government. Well, let's go to Ross telling the BBC he had declared his interests earlier this year when he joined Trump's administration and has done nothing wrong. I think the media has made a lot more out of it than it deserves. Uh, first of all, the company in question, Cyborg, is a very major hydrocarbon company. Its commercial relationship with Navigator Holdings is simply that Navigator charters some vessels to them. There's no interlocking of board. There's no interlocking of shareholders. I had nothing to do with the negotiation of the deal. The fact that it happens to be called a Russian company does not mean that there's any evil in it. So this is the current Commerce Secretary, Wilbur Ross. Your response to what he's saying, John Swain? My response would be, we're not saying anything's evil involved in this. We're just saying that it presents some problems. You know, this is the Commerce Secretary of the United States. He is uh, responsible for various areas of trade and industry, and, and including shipping. And so, you know, quite apart from the Russia element, this is the Commerce Secretary of the United States carrying on in his own industrial business while being in government. He says he's recused himself from that kind of area of business, but, you know, that still presents problems. But also, this Trump administration is responsible for imposing sanctions on various Russians, some of whom are involved in this company, Sieber. Wilbur Ross is part of that administration. You know, that's a pretty big conflict to be part of this team imposing these sanctions while doing business with people who are sanctioned. Uh, when we come back, the seven Republican super donors who keep money in tax havens. John Swain is our guest senior reporter with The Guardian. He's part of that team that's publishing stories on the Paradise Papers. Stay with us.